Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I am going to be once again cutting my own hair because I am tired of it. It is outgrown, it is weighing me down, and I want some change. So this is gonna be my third video, cutting my hair at home by myself. Um, but the difference between this video and those other two videos is that I actually did my research this time. I have dove headfirst into the world that is Brad Mondo. And I have written down some tips. I literally have a binder that I wrote tips in from his videos, from several of his videos. But today, we are gonna be focusing on cutting my hair. So, as you can see, I threw it up in a bun because this is how I've been wearing it lately. Like, around the house when I'm not going out, I always have it in a bun because it is weighing me down. I'm so hot, I'm so over it, and I just want it like out of my face and out of the way. Let's see what we're working with here. Don't get me wrong, I think it's pretty, but I feel like right now my hair is doing nothing for me. It has no shape. It's kind of just like a mop on my head, you know what I'm saying? And I have so, 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 so much of it that I just think it's time to give it a good chop, give it a nice little snip snip, and change things up a bit. I'm ready, it's quarantine. <sighs> Like, I have nothing to lose. Like, I will literally, <laughs> I would literally cut a piece like this right now, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about doing things the right way, <laughs> which I have done a lot of things the wrong way when it comes to cutting my hair in the past. So let's ignore that, and let's focus on the present. Let's focus on the positives, and let's cut my hair. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is part my hair. I always usually wear it down the center. Sometimes if I'm feeling a little crazy, I'll do a little side part, but I don't usually do that on the regular. So one thing that I've learned from watching Brad's videos is that you basically want to cut your hair when it's at the style that you're gonna wear it at. So this is my natural hair. I haven't put any product in it. This is how my hair usually looks after it is dry after I shower. This is usually how I wear my hair. Like I said, I haven't really been doing anything that special to it. I don't really curl it that often. I straighten it occasionally, but not enough to the point where I would straighten my hair and then cut it, if that makes sense. Because he does recommend for people with straight hair or people who straighten their hair often to cut their hair when it is completely flat ironed. But that's not the case for me, which I'm a little nervous about because I don't know how that's going to turn out. I'm kind of scared. It shouldn't make that much of a difference if I'm cutting it in its natural state, but we'll see how it goes. So now that the hair is parted in the way that I usually have it, um, now we're going to do sections. Normally when you have thin hair, Brad recommends for you to do four separate little sections, but because I have so much hair, I'm going to be doing six. I remember Brad saying to place your comb right here at the top of your head and at the highest point of your head which is called the apex <laughs> um, you're gonna basically just brush it down and behind your ear so this right here is gonna be my first section wow i feel so professional watch me still fuck it up <laughs> so just for right now i'm just gonna tie this so that i know where my first section is gonna go Here's the second section, and then the third. And then I'm gonna do the same thing, three sections over here. Okay, so I have all my sections. The key to this is to grab the section and pull it out, not in front of you, but like towards your shoulder. Make sure to keep it like really tight and don't lose that while you're tying. 
So this is a little bit higher than I would want it to be, just a tad bit. So I'm gonna just bring it down. And I think we're gonna do this much. Oh my God, that's a lot. And we're gonna do this one. I'm just gonna do the same thing, keeping pressure and tying it really tight so that it doesn't move. And then I'm gonna move it down so it is at the same length. Perfect. <gasps> wow. Beauty school dropout. Go back to high school. For this one, I don't wanna pull it to the front of my hair because that's not where it naturally falls. So I'm gonna put it to the back of my head And now I'm just gonna bring this down to match these guys. Okay. Seems simple enough. I'm gonna speed through this next section because that took me a while and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have our six sections right here. Um, I, I think they're all pretty even. I think I did this right. There's really nothing left to do but pick up the scissors and cut away. So I don't know about you, but I am ready. I feel like this hair wasn't doing me any favors. It was just weighing me down, kind of like toxic people. And you know what? I have no problem, no problem cutting toxic people out of my life. So I feel like this hair really symbolizes a bad energy and things that just need to go, you know? 2020, gotta go. Toxic relationships, gotta go. Bad trauma from your childhood, gotta go. But also, please heal from that. Don't just walk away from that. Anxiety, gotta go. Depression, gotta go. Oh my God, that's really short. Whoa, I did that, okay. Like I said, like I said, gotta go. It had to go. What else gotta go? Let's see. COVID-19, <laughs> gotta go. Let's name them. What else can we fucking take out of our lives right now? Let's see, what else? Ooh, Donald Trump, gotta go. <laughs> take that fucking guy out of office, am I right? What else? Ooh, racism, <laughs> gotta go. That one has to go. That one has been long overdue. There we go. People who don't wear masks in public got to go. Sexual abuse apologists got to go. Kanye West running for presidency got to go. Do not vote for him, PSA. Nothing against Kanye West, but like, he is not presidential material. And I think we all know that. So let's keep it real here. Wow, okay, you know what? I can't wait, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, wow. Oh my God. This is actually kind of shorter than I wanted to go, but it looks cute. Okay, I was a little scared at first. Oh my God. I like it. I really, really like it. I feel like I just like gained back 10 years of my life. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, this is cute. Okay, I like this. Let's keep going. Okay, so what else has got to go? Kind of like this little thing that we're doing here. It's very healing. I um, hope it's healing for you as well. Ooh, I got one. I got one. Um, the motherfucking cops that killed Breonna Taylor. Gotta go arrested electric chair okay baby they got to go <laughs> oh my god i just feel so fucking cute okay <clears throat> let's keep it going on that note another thing that has to go is fort hood shut that fucking base down baby burn it to the ground burn it to the ground 
until we get some motherfucking answers because people like to cover up murders and we do not fucking stand for that. Okay, last one, last one. What do I gotta say? What do I gotta say? Hmm. The last thing that needs to go among several other things that I have yet to mention. And if I did not, I'm so sorry. That does not mean that they are any less important. But this one is for my community. What else needs to go is ice. We need to abolish ice. Done. I know we already saw this side, but here is this side. Well, I really gotta say that I feel so much lighter and a lot happier and that was very therapeutic. Like I didn't expect for it to go that way and I honestly had no intention of using that symbolism of things that need to go and including that with, you know, cutting off all my hair. But I think that was beautiful. I haven't had short hair like this in a while so seeing it back on me really makes me happy. As far as Brad Mondo's tips, I feel like they did me justice. Yeah, totally, because I feel like the last time that I did this, I took so long cutting my hair because it is so thick and because I was going at it from a very different approach. And I feel like the six sections, although that is a lot, they really helped me in the long run because it was easier to just kind of know where I'm gonna cut and then boom, cut it and snip it off. I think it made cutting my hair a lot easier and it gave me a lot more peace of mind. I'll definitely utilize these tips whenever I want to cut my hair at home, and I definitely think that they're pretty solid and he knows what he's talking about. He is a professional hairstylist, so it would make sense that he knows what he's talking about. So I definitely approve. I know it's not perfect right now. Um, I'm planning on going in later and cutting off all the straggly pieces, but I think it turned out so cute. I'm really happy with it. Let me just show you my bathroom floor. It looks like someone left their freaking toupee on the floor or something. I don't know. Like, this is so much hair. This is so much hair. Dude, this honestly feels so heavy. This was on my hair. This feels so heavy, and I'm so glad that... I don't have that on my head anymore. Okay, so with that said, that is it for this week's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I really had such a fun time tonight and I'm really glad that I filmed this video. If you liked this video, which I hope that you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below and turn on the notification bell to be notified every single time that I upload. Here are my Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. These are all the other social medias that I am located on if you'd like to follow me behind the scenes and not just when I upload a new video. But yeah, with that being said, as always, I love you guys very much, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!